so Lego 8-bit has brought me his heavy fighter uh, Mark 1 so it's a very compact little fighter this one so we're going to take a little look-see and as you can see it's really really small I uh, bet it's got a very low mass count so yeah I'm gonna go and take a look at the uh, statistics on this one so Lego 8 bits brought this to show me today I'm gonna check out the uh, go and check out the core here do, 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 do. so it has a mass of 78 it has a length of 18 a height of 10 and a width of 25 the energy recharge is nearly 3,000 per second the thrust is 90 shields 6,334 so yeah sub 100 mass ship that's not bad um, uh, so yeah one two three four so we've got a uh, got a rate I've got a cloaker on here oh okay so two seconds a cloak let's see how much jam we get <clears throat> it's got full recharge about a second so it's probably you could use that if you were dogfighting to sort of you know you could do a maneuver and hit the jammer and uh, maybe it would make him blip and might he might lose the square maybe uh, but the uh, cloaking device doesn't really do much so let's just aim away Missiles. Cool. And guns. Nice. Let's give it back to him. Interesting. I would have probably used the uh, dumb fires only because the AI can use them. And then he could make this a nice little drone. But it's a beautiful ship and uh, no one can take that away. Quite a basic design, but hey. It's cool. It does the job. I haven't really got any ballistics tests for fighters yet. We're still coming up with some of those. Maybe you'd like to make some of those suggestions below. You wanna, if you can think of a test that would be good for sub 100 mass ships, um, other than obviously ballistics gel, because we're going to do that. But uh, yeah, if you can think of anything specific, then yeah, go ahead and comment. I'll probably end up giving it a go. <laughs> puts it into scale doesn't it when you see when you see him next to the gel <laughs> there is that so this guy's going to line up and he's going to give me a click then a one second pulse and then sustained fire all the way through to the core at the other end each of these colors represents 10 blocks and the total size is 200 long so let's do this okay so he's hit it with a click and it's only a little fighter so it's not really surprising we get two blocks so he gets three shots out of the second <laughs> what was that <laughs> he still isn't quite ten blocks there we go While he's firing, we'll take a look and see where the projectiles are coming from. As it's only a little fighter, I wasn't going to torture him and make him try and shoot through 200 blocks of hull. So, um, yeah, that's the pattern that we end up getting from this particular weapon. It seems like they're focusing in quite nicely and just producing one little hole all the way down, too wide. So I'm going to get him to fire his missiles. as expected so I'm going to get him to do his jammer now and now he's going to show us the stealth did you miss it? there we go it looks like a countermeasure style stealth and a countermeasure style jam only usable in dogfighting maneuvers really to sort of outfox him from chasing your tail um, so yeah 
Still useful to have. Um, I would assume it's going to break the lock or focus of an AI. We need to do some more testing. But yeah, cheers for bringing that down to me, mate. Uh, that's Lego 8-bit. And like I say, if you're watching this, thanks ever so much. And please do come again soon. I will see you next time.